here in this video we are going to see a problem on deflection of a stepped bar and for that here we have a question a stepped bar is pulled by 20 kN force as shown in figure the diagram is given to us here as we can see we have this stepped bar having different diameters at first the diameter is 15 mm then 50 mm and at last it is 25 mm the length of diameter 15 mm it is up to 1500 mm for 50 mm diameter the length is 2500 mm for 25 mm diameter the length is 1900 mm so this is a case of a step bar having different diameters and different lengths next it is subjected to tensile load as we can see this is a pull type of load it is trying to pull the stepped bar and the question is to find the total elongation of the bar take capital E that is Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So for the stepped bar given we have to know how much is the total deflection. So first let us write the data for this question. Now here we have to find the total elongation, I will denote it as delta L for the step bar capital E Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Next here we have three different sections so I will call the diameter 15 this will be my section 1 this diameter 50 would be section 2 and here diameter 25 becomes section 3. So the diameter of the first section is 15. So D1 is equal to 15 mm. Next D2 is 50 mm and D3 that is 25 mm and the corresponding length L1 is 1500 mm l2 is 2500 mm and l3 that is equal to 1900 mm and the load value is given as 20 kN so i'll write it as 20 into 10 raised to 3 newton so this much is the data given to us now let us try to get the solution for this problem As diameters are given for the stepped bar, there are three different diameters. So using them, we can first calculate area of each of the section. Solution. I'll say that since cross-sectional area of each section is given by first section 1 area 1 will be equal to pi by 4 into d square and here we are having the diameter is 15 mm for the first section so area 1 this comes out to be 176.71 mm square then area 2 it is pi by 4 into d square again here the diameter is 50 mm so area 2 comes out to be it is 1963.50 mm square then area 3 It is pi by 4 into d square again. Here the diameter is 25. So 25 square. So area 3. This comes out to be 490.87 mm square. Now after getting individual areas. We are going to find the individual deflections. So here. 
I'll say that since deflection in section 1 section 1 is having diameter of 15 mm and it is 1500 mm long so here I'll draw the diagram for that This is 1500 mm long and the diameter that is D1 is equal to 15 mm. So this is the first section and deflection in this section is given by the formula delta L1 is equal to PL upon AE. This is the formula to find deflection. Since we are calculating for the first section, so this would be section 1. Now here I will be putting the values. So therefore, deflection in section 1 is equal to P. The load applied is common to all of the section. Here the load applied is given as 20 kN in this problem. So, Here we have 20 kN load. So therefore, instead of P, I'll write it as 20 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Length is 1500 mm. Divided by area of the first section. That was 176.71. And Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raised to 5. So from this, I will get the deflection in the first section and my answer is 0.85 mm. After getting deflection in the first section, I will calculate deflection in the second section. So deflection in section second and here the diameter is 50, length is 2500, length is given and even the diameter value is known to us, it is 50 mm and this is subjected to a tensile load again having the same value of 20 kN. This is the second section. So again, I'll use the formula of deflection in the second section as PL upon AE for the second section. Here I'll be putting the values. So therefore, deflection in the second section, load is 20 into 10 raised to 3 P into L is 2500 divided by area 2 which is 1963.50 into Young's modulus which is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So from this I will get deflection in second section my answer is 0 0.127 mm. So now after getting the deflection in the second section I will say that Similarly, deflection in section 3 is given by, now if I look into the diagram, section 3, it was having a diameter of, in the problem it is given, it has 25 mm diameter and 1900 mm length. The load is again 20 kN tensile. So I'll draw the section here. Diameter of this section is 25 mm. Length is 1900 mm. This is the third section. So deflection is given by 
पी एल अपॉन ए फॉर द थर्ड सेक्शन सो यर आई पुट द वैल्यूज डिफ्लेक्शन इन थर्ड सेक्शन पी इट इज द टेंजाइल लोड विच इज अप्लाइड यर हैविंग वैल्यू ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन सो ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय लेंथ इज नाइनटीन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया फॉर द थर्ड सेक्शन दैट वॉज फोर नाइंटी पॉइंट एट सेवन and young's modulus it is 2 into 10 raised to 5 given newton per mm square so the deflection in the third portion my answer is it comes out to be 0.387 mm once i have calculated the deflection of all three sections individually next i'll add up all of them to get the total deflection so here at last i can say that therefore total deflection of stepped bar is given by total deflection will be denoted by delta l and that is equal to delta l1 plus delta l2 plus delta l3 i'll go on putting the values delta l1 was 0.85 delta l2 0.127 and delta l3 this value is 0.387 now after adding them i'll get my answer as it comes out to be 1.364 mm since this answer is positive it means there is elongation of this step bar this is the answer and suppose if the answer would have been negative it means there is decrease in length and that is called as reduction so here as we see in this problem they were telling us to calculate the total elongation of the step bar and we have found out that value that is 1.364 mm elongation and with this we complete the question